Reverse hollow copycat. Oh, hello. There we go. Reverse hollow Lilligan. And there is something here. There is something big. It is. Three, two, one. What's up, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls? Today's video is a very, very exciting one. They always are to me. Today's video, we're going to be opening the Evolving Skies booster box. Now, uh, first thing you might notice, I have a new playmat. Um, uh, I got rid of the uh, Marnie one I had. Um, Marnie one was okay, but kind of everyone has it, and uh, I'm not the hugest fan of Marnie. Been wanting a play uh, playmat, sorry, that is uh, a bit more what I enjoy. We have a Marowak playmat here, looking very cool. Uh, I purchased this because I had to make a purchase on Pokemon Center um, in order to get one of these, which is the Professor's Research promo card. Uh, when I made the purchase, the only way you could get it was purchasing something on Pokemon Center, and then you would get sent this card as well, which is an official Black Star stamped promo. Anyway, uh, enough about that. We are on for what everyone wants to see, which is the Evolving Skies booster box. It is August the 26th today. Evolving Skies officially releases tomorrow. I have a uh, product slightly early, um, and we're gonna get this open. Um, my chase card for the set is the Dragonite V uh, f uh, alternate art. I would love the uh, any of the other big hits really. Uh, the Rayquaza VMAX is really nice and the Umbreon VMAX is really nice. Um, I did open some pre-release kits, I opened a couple in the video, I also opened two off video and I was very fortunate enough to pull the Sylveon VMAX alternate art. I also managed to pull the Golurk V full art and the Intellion gold uh, card so I got very fortunate. The two I opened on video were very very average at best with just one V card and then the two I opened off video gave me a gold card, a full art and an alternate art VMAX. So we have, we will open the first couple of packs, we'll go a little bit slow, appreciate some of the art, have a look at some of the new uh, cards and uh, then we will speed things up because we have 36 packs to get through, don't want to keep you here all day. And then we have, I'm just going to move these slightly more here, there we go. We have a Braviary, a Nuzleaf, Ice Q, Dweeble, Mareep, Drowsy, Scraggy, Feebas, Reverse Hollow, Rog and Roller, and a Lilligant Non Hollow is our first hit. Said we would go slow, and then I didn't go slow on that pack. One, two, three, and the energy, two lightning energy in a row. We have a Flaffy, this was one of the pre release cards, slightly different to this one. Um, I have all of those, a Braviary. That's the other thing with the pre-release. I was very fortunate, I got all four promos. I opened four boxes and got all four promos. So uh, I think that's like, I, th I think I did the math on it. It's like 9.3% chance to happen. So yeah. Switching cups, we have a Hoppip, a Swablu sitting in the tree there, a Zerua, a Kyrogonal, a Petalil, a Reverse Hollow Scraggy, and a non hollow Shift Ray. One, two, three, and the energy, three lightning energy in a row. We have a rescue carrier, a crystal cave, Avalug, Litleo, Tediasa, Cairo Ronald, a Nicket, an Apollon, a reverse solid talon flame, that's a rare, that's nice, and a Smurgle. Fighting energy, I was a little bit worried then. When we got three lightning energy in a row, I was like, is this going to be some weird error box where every pack is completely dead because yeah Vigoroth, a treasure energy ribbon badge bergmite kavana mulga slack off love that one hanging there off the cliff edge a gossifler reverse hollow stormy mountains and a raichu hollow our first hit there one two three and the energy fire energy Let's get some fire in this pack. Lantern, Ursaring, Crossle, Pikachu, a C Dot, Lillipop, Bagon. We are, have the return of Dragon Cards in Evolving Skies. A Lotad, a Reverse Hollow Golduck, and a Gorgeist Non Hollow. One, two, three, and the Psychic Energy. We have Aroma Lady, Moon and Sun Badge, Pyroar, Time Pole, Cutiefly, Apollon, Nicket, 
a Sableye, Reverse Hollow Thievul, and our first notable hit is a Volcarona V. So that is hit number one. That is our Reverse Hollow. A Zrelos, a Nuzleaf, Golduck, Swablu, Hoppip, a Hitmonchan, Fletchling, Tentacle, and a, re a Reverse Hollow Emolga, and a Gigalith non hollow. We have a single strike scroll of the Fang the Dragon, Floet, a Baldor, Psyduck, Swablu, Sea Dot, Wubat, Eevee, Reverse Hollow Copycat. Oh, hello, there we go. Umbreon VMAX, Rainbow Rare. Our first big hit of this box, hopefully the first of two or even three. Umbreon VMAX Rainbow Rare, beautiful card, very nice. I love the kind of uh, the um, the texture pattern here, the kind of waves that it has, very nice. One, two, three, and the energy, darkness energy. We have Avalog, Snowleaf Badge, Geordie, 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 Rog and Roller, Flabibi, Flabibi, okay, two Flabibi, Drowsy, Rog and wait, what? Teddy Ursa and a Lycan Rock Remus. Did we just get two Rock and Rollers in that pack? Two Rock and Rollers and two Blue BBs. What's that pack all about? One, two, three, and the energy, grass energy. A Hippodone, Hippodon, Golduck, Herdia, Hitmonchan, Punching Through the Rain. I love that art. Slack Off, Flabibi, Drowsy, Rock and Roller. That was the same as the last pack. Tentacle and a Tropius. One, two, three, and the energy. So we had four total hits, we've had three notable hits, and the Raichu Hollow. A Crossel, a Rescue Carrier, Crystal Cave, Feebas, Hippopotas, Lillipop, Nickit, Bergmite, Reverse Hollow Nuzleaf, and an Appleton Non Hollow. A Crossel again, Moon and Sun Badge, Toy Catcher, Dweeble, Mareep, Drowsy, Scraggy, Feebas, Reverse Hollow Reverse Hollow Ribombi, and an Altaria non hollow And Fire Energy, time for some fire in this pack, please. Shopping Center, a Lantern, Ursaring, Rufflet, Lotad, Emolga, Rubat, Gossifleur, Reverse Hollow Rubber Gloves, and a Marshadow Hollow. That is our second hollow hit of the box, that is our fifth total hit. And the energy. When I mentioned about getting six to eight hits, I mean V or better. And you should get, I think it's like 12, maybe 14 total hits, might even be 16. Um, but the V or better should be six or eight, six to eight roughly. Treasure energy, digging gloves, palpitoad, love disc, C dot, slack off, flabibi, Kavana, Reverse Hollow Regilecki, and a Galatian V. There is our fourth hit. Poor Edgeware. A Baldor, Skiploom, Fletchinder, Hitmonchan, Slackoff, Petilil, Pikachu, a Pumpkaboo, Reverse Hollow Victini, and a Kyurem. Very nice. Big fan of Dragon Pokemon. Big fan of Kyurem. Very nice hit. Hopefully it's not too good. Rapid Strike, Scroll of the Flying Dragon, Fletchinder, Lantern, Lillipup, Emolga, Tentacle, Pumpkaboo, Bagon, a Fletchinder, and a Reverse Hollow, Wishy Washy. We have a Pyro, a Dream Ball, a Stormy Mountains, a Dweeble, Mareep, Drowsy, Scraggy, Phoebus, Carigonal, a Cargonal, a shift rate, non hollow. A spirit mask, a gaudy, bravery, flabibi, dweeble, a marie, drowsy, a scraggy, reverse hollow treasure energy, and an apple ton. Feeling good about this one. Feeling good. Rayquaza, come to me. Rapid Strike, Scroll of the Flying Dragon, Fletchinder, Lantern, Wubat, Eevee, Time Pole, 
cutie fly, apple in, a reverse hollow pincer, that is a rare, and a, ooh, hoo, hoo. And we have a Hypno, a Fletchinder, a Lantern, Bagon, Love Disc, Sea Dot, Slack Off, Kavana, a Reverse Hollow Bravery, and a Gorgeist Non Hollow. We have a Hypno, Vigoroth, Lombre, Flabibi, Rog and Roller, Psyduck, Swablu. These cards are very top heavy. Sea Dot, a Reverse Hollow Kavana, and a Drampa non-hollow we have a shogon a lombre a full face guard applin lilypup emolga tentacle pump kaboo reverse hollow lilygan and there is something here there is something big it is three two one mm, okay yeah i mean it's a full art it's a rayhan it's a full art it is, uh, I don't think the trainers are anything too exciting in this set relative to the other potential cards. Uh, when you see a card like that, you're thinking, which alternate art is it? But it is our second big hit, and this goes with what I've seen in every video so far. I've seen people open cases, and they're averaging two to three full art trainer or better cards. That's a full art trainer, full art Pokemon, rainbow Pokemon, an alternate art, a gold Pokemon, a gold item, stadium, whatever. I, I've seen two to three in every box. Shelgon, Ice Q, Full Face Guard, Hippopotas, Zerua, Psyduck, Rufflet, Drowsy, Reverse Hollow Zerua, and a Gigalith. We have a Rubber Gloves, Fluette, Boost Shape, Time Pole, Psyduck, Eevee, Cutie Fly, Pikachu, Reverse Hollow Shelgon, and a Slacking Hollow. Here come, here come all the regular hollows. And the oh, I must turn over the and the energy. We have a Swibat, Digging Gloves, Stormy Mountains, Dino, Marie, Wubbuffet, Love Disc, Dweeble, a reverse. Is there a card behind that? No. Reverse Hollow Salamence. Uh, Salamence is a Pokemon I like. Kind of uh, grown on me a bit. I think I didn't originally like it when I first saw it, but uh, it's grown on me. And then we have a Thievul Non Hollow. We have a Zinnia's Resolve, a Hippodon, a Tentacruel, a Bergmite, a Drowsy, Scraggy, Bagon, a Woobat, Reverse Hollow Shopping Center, and a Smurgle. You know, the old art Rayquaza, maybe. Dragonite VL art, oh, Pyro. A Single Strike Scroll of the Fang Dragon. I hope this isn't a running trend for the next like five sets where we get Single Strike Scroll and Rapid Strike Scroll of X. Uh, Ursa Ring. Teddy Ursa, Murray, Zerua, Tentacle, Hopip, a Boost Shake, and an Altaria non hollow. We have an Avalug, a Vigoroth, Dream Ball, Hopip, Swablu, Zerua, Kargo, Kar I cannot speak, Karo Gonon, a Petalil, a Reverse Hollow Murray, oh, didn't expect that. <laughs> And then a Gyarados VMAX. There we go. There is the second VMAX. I was anticipating we'd get at least one more. So we're now on seven big hits. We have a Rayhan again, a Ribombe, a Fluffy, Eevee, Cutiefly, Hitmonchan, a Lotad, Sableye, a Zinnia's Resolve, Reverse Hollow, and a Wishy Washy Non Hollow. Then we have a Crystal Cave, a Toy Catcher, a Rayhan, a Nicket, a Dweeble, Dweeble, Rufflet, Rog and Roller, Wubbuffet, a Litlio Reverse Hollow. Oh, there we go, we have another hit. And the Fire Energy, let's hope some fire in this pack. A Copycat, Zwilus, Skiplume, Fletchling, Scraggy, Hippopotas, Time Pole, Litlio, Reverse Hollow Phoebus, and an Entei. Regular rare, the, the regular rare hollow. Sorry, so that's our fifth regular hollow card. That is our one, two, three, four. In fact, no, I think there should be one more hit at least in the pack in the box. One more, it was probably just a regular hollow, but there should be one more, I think.
a rescue carrier, Scrafty, Ursarin, Bagon, Lotad, Litleo, Teddy Ursa, a Cargo Nil, Reverse Hollow Digging Gloves, and a Lilligant. We have a Nuzleaf, a Golduck, a Rubber Gloves, Chinchow, Dino. Is that like the first time we've seen that? That's a common and I don't recall seeing that anywhere in the video. Chinchow Dino, Pumpkaboo, Kavana, Gossifleur, a Reverse Hollow Zygarde, a Dragon card, a rare, very nice, and a Talonflame non hollow. We have some last pack magic right here. It's a Rayquaza pack, hopefully a sign of things to come. Uh, hit the like button to give me some last pack luck. One, two, three, and the water energy. We have a Tentacruel, Boulder, Aroma Lady, Fletchling, Tentacle, is that? No, Tentacle. Pikachu, C Dot, a Lillipup, a Reverse Hello Kyurem, very nice, Dragon card, Rare card, and our final hit of the booster box is a Seismitoad Non Hollow. So there we have it. There is our Evolving Skies booster box. Pretty good box, very good box. This is roughly what I'm seeing in boxes, um, watching videos, seeing people post their pictures. Um, obviously a picture people can be misleading. They might've opened two boxes and got those pulls, but uh, I've yet to see, genuinely yet to see a box that's only had one huge hit in it. Um, we'll quickly go over the hits again. We'll go over the regular rares first. We have the uh, anti hollow. We have the slacking hollow. We have the Kyurem and love the art on this. We also pulled the reverse hollow in the last pack there. We have the Marshadow and we have the Raichu there. We have, so we have five hollows. Then we have the we do the four V we have the four V cards. We have the Dracozolt V. We have a Giraladon V. There is an alternate art of that as well as a VMAX alternate art. It is one of the staple Pokemon of this set with Rayquaza and the other EV characters. Um, we have a Glaceon V, so we didn't get too many Eevee cards actually, we obviously got the big one, but uh, we have the Volcarona V, and we have the Gyarados V Max, and the Lycanroc V Max. And then we have our two big hits, we have the Rayhan Full Art Trainer, and then we have the Umbreon V Max Rainbow Rare, not the greatest of centering there, quite bottom heavy um, compared to the left, which probably means it's thick along here and thick along here and then thin on the left and thin on the top. Um, the back is very nice though. Um, although you can kind of see it a little bit, the, the bottom and the back, at least to my eye, looks ever so slightly thicker. Um, so it might not actually be bad left to right. It might just be bottom to top that it's bad, which isn't too bad if so. Um, so there we go. There's our Evolving Skies booster box. It's the day before release date. Uh, let me know in the comments if you managed to get hold of any Evolving Skies products. I fully, fully anticipate this set to a couple of things. One, this set is probably going to be sold out very quick anywhere. Uh, two, I don't think Pokemon are reprinting this until next year. They are all focused on celebrations that happen with Chilling Rain. Even if Chilling Rain products occasionally show up, they are very likely um, just products that were on like a later shipment. I think Pokemon aren't printing Chilling Rain until next year. So if, if you like Chilling Rain or Evolving Skies, make sure you get them because I, I don't think we're going to see them until next year after this. I think Pokemon are fully focusing on celebrations. Anything they print Chilling Rain or Evolving Skies wise is going into those collection boxes uh, of celebrations where, you know, you have maybe two Evolving Skies, a Chilling Rain and a Darkness Ablaze pack, for example. Um, I don't think they're printing booster boxes. Uh, ETBs, probably not. I mean, the ETBs are already late in the UK. Uh, we're not getting those for another couple of weeks. Um, so I won't be opening one on the channel for a couple of weeks. But um, I would recommend if you have an interesting involvement in Skies and you you know it's a product that you're going to want, uh, get it sooner rather than later because uh, th this the value of Evolving Skies as a product is definitely going to go up. It is impossible for this set to not go up in value. It is impossible for the sealed products of this set to not gain value over time. Fully anticipate that, uh, you know, two years from now, this will be like Cosmic Eclipse. This could be three to five hundred pound a booster box in two years from now. Um, so if you're interested in the set, I would recommend you get involved ASAP. Um, make sure you enter my giveaway. I'm giving away a, an Ice Rider Calyrex V collection box, a Shadow Rider Calyrex V collection box, and I'm going to add some blisters from Evolving Skies to it. Um, when they arrive for me over this weekend, 
I will drop a video on, this is going live today on the 26th of August, I will drop a video on the 31st of August, probably going to be opening some blisters for myself, I need the promos, um, that will be an Evolving Skies video, um, and in that video I will, you know, it will be the last chance video, you will have that day to enter, and um, I will then do the announcement video a few days after that. So uh, leave a like if you enjoyed the video, leave a comment down below, let me know if you managed to get any Evolving Skies, and if you did, what is your chase card? Mine is the Dragonite V uh, alternate art, I will put it on the screen now. Beautiful card, Dragonite on his back, kind of soaring through the clouds. Uh, it's almost like a, um, almost like a kind of butterfly stroke swim, but in the clouds. So yeah, if you're enjoying the content, please subscribe. We hit 350 subscribers. I really appreciate that. We're on the road to 500 and then who knows what happens from there. I want to do a 500 sub special. So the sooner I get there, the better, the sooner I can do that special. Um, so uh, if you could subscribe, that would be great. I appreciate you guys watching and peace.